after a week of negotiations, the Chicago Teachers Union and Chicago Public Schools could not find a solution that would allow teachers and students to return to in-person learning. CBS 2's Meredith Barrick joining us now with what this means for thousands of students, parents and teachers. Meredith. Suzanne, Mayor Lori Lightfoot making the announcement late Friday night, visibly upset as she claims the CTU intentionally sabotaged the negotiations. However, Mayor Lightfoot said she still expects teachers to be at school Monday morning or CPS will take action. In a statement Friday night, the CTU said they were close to reaching an agreement, but quote, Mayor Lightfoot is disrupting every possible settlement, compromise or partnership, end quote. The statement goes on to say we will We'll continue working toward an agreement, but we will need real progress in critical areas. We need a phased in return tied to voluntary vaccination, baseline testing for students and staff, and accommodations for educators whose household members are at a higher risk of COVID-19 illness and death. Three weeks of successfully implementing school safety plans that included safety and health protocols, ventilation, contact tracing, testing, accommodations, and much more. Three weeks of success, which is precisely why the CTU leadership blew it up and created chaos. CPS uh, CEO Dr. Janice Jackson will be on Face the Nation this Sunday to discuss these ongoing negotiations. Now, the CTU said returning to school is not safe, especially for those who haven't gotten their COVID-19 vaccine. The district, however, says its buildings are cleaned and sanitized for the safety of students and staff. Reporting live from the Street Side Studio, I'm Meredith Barrick, CBS 2 News. Making sure teachers are vaccinated is one of the main sticking points for the union. Yesterday, Chicago Health Commissioner Dr. Allison Arwadi hosted a roundtable discussion with those concerns. Arwadi urged patients when it comes to vaccines. Teachers and staff are absolutely part of that plan, um, but there are more than 140,000 educators in the city of Chicago. And so where I think about, you know, if we were to take all of the vaccine, the first doses we were getting, you know, for five weeks, we could get through educators, but that would mean not vaccinating anybody else. Many people at higher risk. So there are plans. Health experts believe the benefits of in-person learning outweigh the risks as long as proper sanitizing procedures are followed and people have access to protective equipment.